let's move on to the AFC South. Uh, we got to start with the Jaguars, right? Big yeah, they're team, heavy. Ton of money. They have spent some money. I have some mixed feelings about this. I would okay. love to hear your thoughts. Just uh, a basic rundown. We're looking at their graphic right now. Where, what do you see here that that pops out to you? Uh, I think I think Malcolm Brown is a solid move. I think they get a, a starter in that you know in the defensive trenches. Shaq Griffin is a cornerback one technically that can fit alongside um, um, C.J. Henderson, who had a really promising um, rookie campaign going. Cam Robinson, franchise tag. I think he's a staple piece that you got to have at your offensive line. Carlos Hyde doesn't really do nothing for me. Uh, Rayshon Jenkins doesn't do anything for me. Rudy Ford is formidable in places that they play him because he's been there before. Yep. And Jamal Agnew, I actually like at the wide receiver spot. And you're landing Trevor Lawrence. So in my head, I'm putting him up there as well. Yep. I don't think they lost a lot. These aren't the flashy moves that you want to see whenever you're a top three team in the, in the cap. Yeah. But they had... Mini moves, and then look. There's you look at draft needs. It's dealer's choice for a reason, right? They need a lot of help in a lot of places. Uh, looks like I mean, you. I always talk about how you look at the free agency moves, especially like some of the not big moves, and that tells you what they're looking at, right? D tackle. The defensive line is clearly a big importance to the Jaguars franchise yes. right now. They grabbed a bunch of guys, traded for a Malcolm Brown. Uh, you know, went out and got some of these dudes, and and you know, Roy Robertson Harris. You know, this is a guy who who was hurt last year, but but has some. Talent. Allen, I think he he could come on and be like he could start for this team next year. He got a, a very good deal. The thing that kills me is Shaquille Griffin, Shaq Griffin getting top cornerback he money in this concept. He got big money, and I don't we don't have the the list right here. It doesn't matter. The 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 money is so messed. Up. I used to care so much about how much these guys got yeah. paid and everything, and it's like the contracts get changed so quickly, and it's like it doesn't really matter until it matters. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I but I look at this particular signing, and I'm like, if you were going to spend that much money. Why wouldn't you go get William Jackson? William Jackson is better than Griffin. I'm sorry, like I don't. It's it's not a question. And, I, and maybe people will will shout out from the comments and let me know if you disagree. That's fine. Maybe I'm wrong on this, but I I would be surprised if in a year every Jaguars fan isn't saying, "Man, we paid Griffin more than William Jackson got paid, and William Jackson is doing a whole hell of a lot better." I look at Griffin as a scheme fit in their Seahawks a scheme, and it works for him. He was fine, but he was a wide receiver. He was a cornerback to playing cornerback one on the Seahawks and struggling. Like fans of, of uh, the Seahawks don't like Griffin. They're not missing him at all. And now he's getting cornerback one money to go to the Jaguars. I, I have an issue with that signing. I get it. I do think they address the need. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're definitely evaluating their talent as they do in their own place. And I don't think that he's going to be asked to be the true number one. I think C.J. Henderson stepped up a lot last year and was really able in – you know, in a hard division too. I, yeah. I think he was able to do formidable. Shaq Griffin, if he's if he's a two, does that do it for you? But why pay him like a one? I I, I get like even if he's not going to be the one on the team, why pay him? I like get a one? that, but so theoretically, William Jackson is just not interested from the get go. That's that's what I'm saying in my head because I I value him better than Shaq Griffin as well. So maybe they just had that door closed on him. If you miss out on Shaq Griffin, what do you do? You you still okay. you have a See, major that's a good point. you have a major need. That's a good I point. I think if you have the money to spend and you have to do it. I think now you're able to look, because we have our draft needs as a dealer's choice, because Jacksonville has so many different needs across the board, I think, yes, they will still need cornerback, of course, okay. but you can address some of those earlier needs elsewhere and maybe get some true playmakers early on. Bro, see, this is why I love doing the pod with you. You you defend things so well, and I overreact <laughs> I think, I, to shit like that. No, you're I, absolutely I think, right. You're, that's a, a good way to put it. a good starter. Yeah. It is a depth move. You overpaid them. Yeah, yes, okay. They, they so definitely it, did. I think that's a, a perfect way to say it. I, I liked the Marvin Jones move. I... I was surprised he got as much as he got, but Marvin Jones is a good wide receiver too. And and being uh, being the compliment to a, a, DJ a, a DJ Shark uh, yeah, at, at, a, at a wide receiver one, I have no problem with that at all. Gives Trevor Lawrence some weapons. Again, it's dealer's choice for a reason. There's going to be some issues. This team isn't going to be great next year, but I mean, hopefully going in the right direction. Hopefully you got some. My big thing with this is like, who is the foundational piece you got in free agency? Is it Malcolm Brown? Is it is it you know it, it Cam Robinson franchise tag? So you can't say that's your foundational piece. Is I, it I get Griffin? what you're saying. You know what I mean? You have that. You're one, two, and three in the cap. Yeah. You know those teams are supposed to be like, hey, we got so and so. We mm -hmm. got this dude. We got a, a top five dog in the free mm -hmm. agency class. You didn't. You got a lot of guys that fit into that 
you know, 15 to 30 yeah. range, I think. I think they plug some holes for next year, but I can see a lot of these guys being cut next year. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so that's that's why I'm a little bit low on it, and I'm, I'm sorry, Jaguars fans. I'm not trying to shit on your team. I, I'm very excited for the Jaguars this year. I think they already had a, a good bit of young talent that wasn't utilized in the last regime, and I think it can be with, you know, a Trevor Lawrence coming in and, you know, with, to, to shore that up. I, I'm excited about that aspect of it. And really, I mean, look, you lost Josh Oliver, not a, nothing. Chris Thompson's re- being replaced by Carlos Hyde. I mean, okay, nothing no, like yeah, no, no Connelly, news there. Really Chris Connolly, they they also mm-hmm. lost DJ or DD Westbrook, which I didn't put on there because he was hurt most last year anyway. So so you know you're not losing a lot of pieces. You're adding some talent. Uh, where would you go with uh, their second first round pick? In yeah, this that's show? what I was about to ask yeah. you. Uh, so Trevor Lawrence is an instant. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's who's second? Do they have again? They got the they got the Rams. They have the Rams. So, Rams did make the playoffs, so they're probably at like 20, 22, 23. twenty two, twenty three. I'm somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah. Um. Man, that is so tough. I would say offensive line based for Trevor. Yeah, I like I, there, there. There's some deep there's not line elite class. elite talent early on at the guard. I'm looking primarily interior offensive line, okay. the guard center position, mm-hmm. but it is deep there. You can find a starter in those rounds, and I think it's important. It's a them. good year to need offensive line, and I mean it, you don't they have always a say that Taylor either. On the outside at tackle, who I think is maybe going to find his roots and hopefully, hopefully. get going, and you, you have a franchise Cam tag Cam Robinson, so yep. you're set tentatively there Mm -hmm. go help out that interior because we saw what happened with Joe Burrow Mm -hmm. and teams need to understand when you invest in a guy that is that highly touted Trevor Lawrence is five times the Burrow hype that we have going into this yeah take care of the man yeah I I absolutely agree and look you talk about a rebuild go go defensive line go offensive line first year just load up on the interior because that's that's the way you want it. That's way, the way every good rebuild starts. I mean, you, you don't start from the skill positions and work in. You start from the 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 trenches and it's work out. Meat. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of bad teams with a good offensive line. That's that's my favorite quote. So I absolutely agree with you. Go go shore up offensive line with. I mean, shit. You could use your next three picks on offensive line, and I wouldn't even complain about it. I really wouldn't. Um, I'm sure a lot of uh, I'm sure a lot of Rams or Jags fans would but that's okay.